Hey guys, day two of me with my frowning piercing. I'm sorry if you hear like really faint music in the background. My roommate has something playing in the room, so there's that. Um, so I kind of figured out how to eat, sort of. Basically, instead of eating with your mouth closed, you open your mouth ever so slightly and eat that way. That way you aren't using the muscles because I notice when I'm eating normally, the muscles in this area want to pull back because they want to pull the food back to, to the back of your throat so you can swallow. And that kind of hurts with that. So there's that. Um, uh, some alcohol-free mouthwashes you can try is H2 Ocean. And I also got something that's antibacterial to lightly rub on my piercing. If you haven't seen it or this is your first time watching me, there you go. Um, it's a little sore depending on what I do, but not really that bad. I got recommended to stay away from hot food, super cold food, like stuff that give you brain freeze, spicy food, or other kind of irritating things in general. Thankfully, I don't eat that. And for those who have partners or something like that in the adult industry, avoid oral sex. So there's that to avoid as well. I'm not going to see my boyfriend for prob for a little bit, so that. I don't, I don't think that will be too hard. <laughs> um, but it's a little sore this morning. It's probably been maybe not even 24 hours. It's a little bit sore. And like if I do that, it's a little sore. But overall, not that bad on the pain scale. I, for a little bit more information about this piercing real fast, it was popular in the 90s and then it kind of died away. But it's starting to get back up again. So... I'll see you guys later, give you an update with the pain and food and stuff like that. Bye!